The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Yeah, so refuge strategy. So this is the time of, of year, just in the few days leading up to what we hope is the beginning of corn planting season here in Ontario. This is the time of year when you've taken or are about to take seed corn delivery from your suppliers. This is the time to get organized in terms of the seed that's in your shed, verify, verifying what you've ordered in terms of uh, variety selection, heat unit selection and maturity, and trait packages as well. And Speaking of trait package, that leads us into the refuge strategy discussion. So when you take delivery of your seed corn, uh, for instance here at Pride, we actually work in two different bag configurations. So what you see here is a predominantly yellow bag with the white polka dots here. And the important information is on your seed tags. So there's actually a couple of different tags here. The first tag is the variety name and has the plantability information to help you out in terms of uh, bag weight or, or uh, pound weight, the density of the seed, a plate recommendation if there is any. The second tag will also note the trait package that you're using. So this is 6535G8, this is a 2900 heat unit smart stacks refuge in a bag hybrid. So this is smart stacks rib complete. It's noted on the tag here. That means the 5% refuge is incorporated right in the bag for, uh, for ease and simplicity. So this hybrid, basically, once you know which field it's going in, it's dump and go in the planter. No need for a separate refuge and away you go. That's the first bag configuration we use at Pride. You'll note that the rib complete logo on our Pride one bag .ca is also on the side of the bag as well. So there's ample notice for, for dealers and growers on the refuge requirement for this product. If we move to another product over here, this is a slightly different bag, white and yellow again, but it's actually the yellow dots on the white background. And these bags are used to denote hybrids that require a separate structured refuge. So if you look at these tags, again, the, uh, the seed variety information and plantability information, but then you see the tag here, pull that around so it looks, there you go. So that notes this is Genuity VT Triple Pro in this hybrid, that's the trait package. And as of today, you use a 20% separate structured refuge. So that is not a refuge in the bag product. You need to purchase and plant a separate structured refuge across 20% of those acres. So very key is your seed lands in your shed from various suppliers to get an idea of which products require a separate refuge and which ones are rib complete. So if you've had good discussions with your seed dealer, you have a pretty good idea already about which products are going in which field on which soil types, which ones are planted early versus late, etc. A lot of those discussions might have taken place as, as far back as last August or September, or for most growers, certainly before the new year. So it's a good idea to refresh your memory again, whether it's a discussion with your seed dealer or looking back through your notes. A lot of growers have different ways of getting organized. Some like to do a half planter comparison of different hybrids across the field. And they'll actually set up the seed in their, uh, in their shops on uh, a per skid per field basis. So they know to plant a 120 acre farm, that they need 50 bags of corn, and they might put 25 of each on the skid, and that's the skid that goes to that field. Likewise, if that was a 120 acre farm and we needed to plant, uh, let's say a BT Triple Pro hybrid, we need a 20% structured refuge. So they'll have the trait product and the required 20% of bags on that skid. So they know that that skid of product goes to that farm and A, it's the right hybrid for the farm and B, they're following the refuge strategy. So there's various uh, various means to do it, but this is the time to get organized rather than the uh, load up the truck and go approach that might happen, especially in the spring where we're dancing around sudden rainstorms and things like that.